Well, welcome back, friends. Thank you for joining me today. A few years ago, a friend of mine stopped and got gas at a station. Then he got back on the road and the Lord spoke to him and said, stop and get gas. Well, he argued a bit and said, Lord, I just got gas, but the Lord said, stop. So he stopped at the next convenience store, walked in the store and asked the lady behind the counter, said, why am I here? That's all he asked. Why am I here? She suddenly burst into tears and she said to him, you were going to be my last customer, and then I was going to go in the back room, and I was going to kill myself. Well, God used him to be able to help her and pray with her and saved her life. He had a purpose for him stopping there at that convenience store, even though it didn't make sense. Well, in today's reading, we find in Esther chapters 4 to 7 that there's an evil plot to kill all the Jews. Well, Mordecai finds out, and he, he asks uh, Esther to go in and see the king and intercede. Well, Esther was afraid because uh, it was illegal for her to go in without the king's invitation. But Mordecai made a statement in chapter 4, verse number 14. He says, For if you keep silent at this time, relief and deliverance will rise from the, for the Jews from another place, but you and your father's house will perish. And who knows, this is important, whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. I want to say, my friends, that everything God does in our life and everything he says is for a purpose. He gives you a job for a purpose, not just so you could just take all the money and use it on yourself. He blesses you financially for a reason, so you can share with others that have needs. He heals you for a reason, so you can share your testimony of what God's done in your life with someone else that needs a healing and their faith is increased and they can be healed. He saves you for a reason so you can uh, share your the good news and joy of what God's done for you with someone that has no joy and no peace. Everything God does in our life is for a reason and for a purpose. Sometimes we don't see that purpose, but we must understand that God has a reason and a purpose. And so friends, I wanna say that ask yourself, wherever you go, whatever you're doing, why am I here? What is the purpose? Why has God led me in this direction? Because God will use you to save someone else and to help someone else find joy and find life. God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful day as you find your purpose. Bye-bye.